Hello again everyone, a quick recap as to where we left off in our Texas 200 adventure. We successfully made it to Camp 2, Mudhole. Got woken up by a passing barge at 2 a.m. and we're currently shoved off for the start of day three. Camp 2, headed to Camp 3. We're motoring right now, waiting for Brian to dress a wound, and then we'll get the main cell up, get the sailing. We have about an estimated, a little over five hour sail today. Explorer day. We're gonna pass through Bath Bay today. Ziggy recommended. Good stuff. We're continuing to head north up the ICW channel where we'll pass through Baffin Bay and enter back into the land cut for Camp 3. Man, we're screaming out of the land cut into Baffin Bay. 
At one point I saw that we were going over seven and a half knots. Crazy. We're having a great time up to this point. Just enjoying the sail, listening to the Waterworld soundtrack, and having some laughs. It just felt like nothing could possibly go wrong. Did you hear that? Listen again. We just hit, we just hit bottom. Hey, do me a favor, raise the centerboard. There goes another bang from under the hole. Able to raise my 180 pound centerboard has just snapped in half. Without it, I won't be able to beach Thunder Road, which could very likely take us out of the Texas 200. All right, well, beaching, we're gonna drag bottom before we even. Oh, this sucks. We're gonna we're gonna drag before we even. Uh, we're gonna have to like count it or something, like find a beach on it with the motor and get as close as we can. We're gonna have some work to do. I wonder what the f*** we did. Still under sail, I turn the tiller over to Brian so I can have a look at the winch and get a better idea as to what sort of situation we're in. make double sure that when we tie it and everything it's tied and good after over seven hours of sailing 
we finally found a safe spot to dock for the night. We sailed past Camp 3 and used the chart to find this small 7 foot deep cut off the channel. I found this other cut that's about seven it was almost feet like this cut had been placed here just for us. It was the perfect spot to make our repairs to the centerboard. Now let's put this Dyneema to some use. Alright, well we just did a makeshift repair on our uh, centerboard line. Check it out. We've got the winch off and we're using Dyneema, which is, this is actually three times stronger than what we were using. But we've got Dyneema and then we're just pulling it over the cleat here. And that's all, that's pretty much all the way up on the centerboard. And then we're gonna add another loop for another halfway down. And then anytime we wanna raise, we just gotta, we're gonna have to grab this with a, we'll, we'll add a, uh, like a little handle or something to be able to pull it up. So that's taken care of. And while I was down messing around with the centerboard, like an idiot, I didn't put my shoes on, cut my foot. So I just uh, doctored this up, bandaged it up. Got two pretty good slices in my foot there. My brother's got a slice on his toe. We're slowly, slowly falling apart, piece at a time. All right, we're gonna get back to whatever we were doing. We'll update y'all later. All right, good morning. Day four, Texas 200. Getting close to shoving off. We've got our, we rigged a uh, centerboard handle. It's just an old rag with some duct tape. And then you just pull it over the cleat. And that's how we'll lower it. But once we get moving and lower the centerboard, we'll kind of play around with it, clean it up, make, a, make our setup look a little nicer. But we're, we're still in this. So yeah. No, nah, it's oh, not that nice. bad. All yeah, right. we'll be all right. That may have just worked itself out pretty well. Yeah. the whisker pole out. It's the first time I've ever sailed with the whisker pole, wing on wing. Pretty cool. <clears throat> Made it myself. With centerboard problems behind us and Marker 37 Marina in front of us, we lower the sails and motor in for a refill of ice and supplies, find me, a toilet seat, and a Whataburger.
supply time. Get ice. I think I'm gonna get me a cheeseburger. Clean up a little bit, throw out some trash, and head back on out. Marker 37, Marina. You know, one of these uh, got my name written all over it right now. Look at this. Hey, how's it going? What's up, Kate? All right, we just left the marina. Got the main raised, going under the bridge here. We're gonna raise the jib. It's gonna be a great day of sailing today. Heading into Corpus Christi Bay. Full sails today. Dolphins.
here. That is awesome. <laughs> Another barge out that way. This one will pass. And now we play a little game of Frogger. The key to this game, get across the channel without hitting anything. There's a huge shipping barge headed towards our direction. So I fire up the motor to help push us across the channel intersection so we remain clear of all vessels. After 30 minutes of motoring in the shallows outside the channel, we finally make it to Camp 4, Quarantine Shore. Next time on SV Thunder Road. Yeah, we don't have a leak. That's just water coming into the boat right there. Taking a beating today. That's for sure. We're making it to Army Hole. Woo, got something. Let's see what we got. Taking the ferry channel, motor into Army Hole. Just up there.